when I think about the holidays, you know, made me think Christmas is one of everyone inside the house, right? But yeah. uh, New Year's Eve, man, like I didn't even realize like, how busy the streets actually get. You know, folks <laughs> on the liquor stores prepping and, you know what I'm saying, getting their pregame on because they about to go out or, you know what I'm saying, they do that pre-dinner and then they go out to those whatever that may be, man. I think uh, I, I enjoy the way my my year. Can be beautiful if you let it. In the bowl. Yo, 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 what do you know? Welcome to In the Bowl Podcast. I'm your host, Nas. It's your guy, Tall Man, live from Dubai. And as always, In the Bowl Podcast is sponsored by Power Five, your nation's own number one mobile hookah provider, where they not only provide the the excellence and, and quality of a fine hookah, but they supply private events, wholesale, distribute, and take that experience to the next level. You know, so what's happening? What's going on? New year, new year, new year, new year. It's been a while, you know what I'm saying, since we caught up. What's happening, tall man? Yeah, sir. What, what, what's going on, man? I mean, it's <laughs> it's been a minute. You know, I mean, the holidays are over. The the new year is is, is upon us. You know, we're, you know, is this week two or week three of the, the new year? You know, 2023 is here. It's here, man. It's, it's, it's here. And, and as, we, as we've seen last year, man, time flies, man. Time waits no one you know so it's um you know i'm excited about this year you know last year you know, we did you know we'll recap some of the some cool events that happened talk about how the you know end of the year you know ended you know and then uh <laughs> what to kind of expect you know what i'm saying going into this new year but um yeah man I mean, i'm excited about this year's episodes you know i think um you know obviously within the bowl we, we talk about your hookahs, and we talk about current events. You know, men, you know, we, we, we provide our opinion. We understand that everyone agrees with our opinion, but we can't really help that, you know. And we always ask people to change <laughs> so we can have a, a healthy debate, you know. So, you know, this year we definitely focus more on, you know, the different different flavors. We're going to, you know, provide some, some our thoughts on, on what you could try pointers as to make that experience better you know can't wait for all the interviews that we do have lined up for this year you know from different industries and just conversations we have you know with a group of folks that you know again provide their opinion on real life shit you know i'm excited about this year i'm excited i'm excited and speaking of the new year man as we always do gotta do a gotta do a celebratory toast for the new year for new opportunities and the new season Yes, man. Twenty twenty three. There we go. Yes, and and also, you know, just want to you know give a shout out to you know all the subscribers and everyone who you know reached out to us and was like, hey, man, you know what's going on? You know, we we we, we took a small break for the holidays. You know, had a lot going on. You know, traveling and you know just 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 life. You know, but but we are back. You know, and we want to uh you know welcome you know uh our old subscribers as well as you know anyone who hasn't subscribed yet you know don't forget to you know click that button you know subscribe follow and make sure you're keeping up with us so you get those notifications when uh, the new episodes drop but from from current events you know or, or just life in general you know i mean the the end of the year it went out with a bang man it got here a lot quicker than you know we thought it was man. that's the time no one and it just keeps on moving Time sure does fly, right? So, you know, just thinking about how the new year ended. Um, I say my end of the year was was phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? I think okay. it was was good for me. You know, I think um I've seen I've seen growth from personal professional perspective, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think uh, you know, I feel like I've been, you know, continue to be blessed. So I'm twenty twenty two's been good. You know, and, and, and one thing I will sit there and say, one thing I was happy not to see, right, is where I saw more of, of 
That whole new me, new year, new me shit, man. Get that shit the fuck out. <laughs> that shit, that's, that, that's, that's, I hate that quote. Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's finally, you know, ran its course, you know. I mean, it had a, I'm not going to say it, it had a good run, you know, but it, it, it had a run and, you know, I, I'm with you. You know, I didn't see a lot of that, uh, you know, a lot of that talk this year. So I'm, I'm happy about that, man. I'm yeah. happy about that. But, but tell me this, man, you know, uh, the holidays, I mean, how was, uh, you know, how was that whole experience leading up to the new year? What would you get into for New Year's Eve? You know, let, let's chop it up about that for a minute. You know, one thing I liked about it, man, you know, I know a lot of folks like to try to do it big. And it was interesting, too, right? I think about the holidays. And <clears throat> I was actually thinking about it of how, I know for me, it's like, you know, when I was younger, you know, I used to like the, all that mega club shit and all that cool shit. But one thing I noticed the way this end of the year ended was we kept it small and tight, right? So, okay, you know, we had a small gathering. We weren't looking even trying to go out to, you know, no big menu and, you know, and for, for stacks, you know what I'm saying? Just to get a glass of champagne and shit like that. No, we kept it tight, kept it with family, friends and close ones. And, and it was, it was good, you know what I'm saying? But okay. when I think about the holidays, you know, it made me think Christmas is one everyone inside the house, right? But yeah. uh, New Year's Eve, man, like I didn't even realize like, how busy the streets actually get. You know, folks <laughs> on the liquor stores prepping and, you know what I'm saying, getting their pregame on because they about to go out or, you know what I'm saying, they do that pre-dinner and then they go out to those, whatever that may be, man. I think uh, I, I enjoy the way my my year, you know, throughout the year. And like I said, man, we kept it real simple, kept the decorations in the house, took a couple pictures, you know what I'm saying, um, and even a little okay. bit. Thing. She stayed up past midnight, so she brought the New Year with us. It was dope. It was Sweet. A good time, man. That's my little roadie right there. So we had a joyous time, man. How about y'all? Now, how was oh, the like, dance box for the New Year? Man, so, you know, one of the things we wanted to do this year is, you know, I mean, since we were, you know, away from, you know, family and, you know, the you know the core, core friends is we said we would spend – uh, you know, the holidays in Thailand, you know, so okay. we ended up going to Bangkok, you know, for uh, like six days, six or seven days, and then went down to uh, Phuket uh, for the new year, and, you know, hung out down there for, you know, six days. But I mean, it, it was cool. Man. I mean, Bangkok is, Bangkok is a, is a wild, busy, you know, active place. You know, I hadn't been back there since 2016, but I mean, we got to hang out there, you know, eat, you know, some, some street food, you know, because Bangkok is, is known, you know, for the, the street food. You know, I mean, the, the cost of eating out there on the streets is just, you know, I mean, your, your dollar, you know, truly stretches, you know, for some some wonderful meals. You know, so we did that. You know, we checked out, uh, you know, the floating markets. We went down to the weekend market, you know, went to the elephant sanctuary, you know, mm -hmm. stopped past uh, the tailor. You know, when I was out there the first time, I got put on to a, to a tailor, you know, so I went to go see him to pick up some uh, some more suits. And, you know, my man, you know, he was like, hold on, what year were you here? What month? You know, went back, got a book, came back, got another book, opened up to the page that had, you know, all my, my measurements there, the fabric mm -hmm. that I, you know, picked up. So, you know, he definitely was uh, was on point, but he, he turned out some good stuff for me, man. You know, you got picked up. You know, uh, four custom made suits and you know six shirts. You know, so I'll be uh, I'll be ready to step outside soon, looking fresh. You know, whenever I'm required to, you know, suit it up. You know, but yeah. until then, you know, I'll still be rocking. You know, my, my, my polo shirts. You know, it's nothing like uh, you know, going to work comfortable. But I tell you one thing, man. When you buy uh, a tailor uh, or a custom made suit or shirt, it is hard to go back to buying off the rack, you know, because right. everything just fits you like a glove, you know, it's like right. the shirts hit where they're supposed to hit, the slacks hit the way they're supposed to, you know, hit the jacket, just, just, uh, just, just everything, you know, so I see what I've been missing, you know, for the past couple of years. And now that, you know, I'm a little closer, you know, because before, you know, flying to Bangkok from the States, man, it was like a 23 hour journey, but now it's a, you know, it's a six hour flight. So I'm gonna definitely try to get back out there again 
to uh one you know grab some more stuff but also you know i mean thailand is is just you know just so huge yeah you know it's more than just uh you know this is bangkok so definitely want to get there again and you know check out some of the, the other cities but you know i mean the holidays were it, it was cool you know i mean it was good weather you know temps in the 80s you know you can't beat that you know and, and got to move around and, and you know relax a little bit but Definitely, uh, definitely a good time and a good way to bring in, you know, 2023 when you're away from home. Yeah, you made, you made a good point. It's one thing we talked about a lot last year, right? When you get to a certain stage, you know, what I'm saying, and, you know, I think it's like you said, it's not always so much the actual quote of, you know what I'm saying, new year, new me, but I think as you get older, you continue to evolve, right? And so, exactly, you know, it's like, again, it's personal. This is me, you know, in my opinion. But you know, I'm not I'm not a big fan of of chain restaurants, right? And and you know, you 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 grow from you know the old school Mad Dog 2020s, right? And you, know, and you grow from that, and, and now you, you start buying you know what I'm saying a little bit better alcohol, so you can you know sort of take care of your your insulin. rough or shitty in the morning. So it's um. You know, I think that also falls in play, like with your suits. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a valid point. As you start evolving, there's nothing better yeah. than with a, a tailored suit because you know it's, it fits you perfect. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And um, but that obviously happens with you know what I'm saying growth, maturity. You know what I'm saying? And it's a different yeah. that's your different class. You know, so and I think we we evolve to that point and we continue to grow. You know, so it ain't really a new you. It's just you growing. So I think there's a difference, right? Yeah. You know, in that definition. So I think we got to be mindful. That's one thing I learned, you know what I'm saying? Be mindful of what we say, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're, you're right, man. You know, your, your words have uh, have a lot of power, um, you know, a lot of meaning. They always say, you know, that there's a, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of power in the tongue, you know? So, I mean, if things that you want to do, you know, you just speak it into existence. Mm-hmm. You know, I I know I'm not big on, you know, New Year's resolutions and things like that because, you know, I mean, why are you going to wait until the first of something to start something? You know, I mean, you can go ahead and, you know, start the day to, you know, make changes. But, yeah, you know, I'm not going to, you know, go down that, uh, you know, that, that, that slippery slope. But I am excited, you know, for, for 2023. You know, I mean, the pod, you know, we're back. You know, like you mentioned, you know, I mean, we got some uh, some great guests. Mm-hmm. lined up you know we have uh you know a lot of uh content that we want to you know get to and you know we re- really want to you know uh especially with the interviews you know i mean highlight you know people who are you know really you know doing big things and you know spreading you know the the information and the knowledge of you know how they got to you know where they are you know what they're doing you know and and just continue to to build off of you know everything we did in 2022. Facts, facts, facts. We continue, like we say, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. And so, like we said in the beginning, click like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Join the journey. You know what I'm saying? Stay engaged. You know, so definitely provide your input, your thoughts. And you know, we, we love to engage. You know, we love a healthy uh, conversation. Should I say? And uh, exactly, and, you know, we, we appreciate folks' opinion because that fuels the fire, you know what I'm saying? That fuels the passion behind the conversation. So, you know, if you feel adamant about something, definitely bring it to our attention, you know what I'm saying? We'll talk about it, you know, we'll discuss it and uh, give our opinions and our views on it, and you know, talk a little shit in between. Uh, and you know, and I'm not gonna lie, you know, while we were on, you know, the, the holiday break. You know, I mean, there was so much that I came across that I was like, ah, you know, I'm mad that we're not recording this week because, you know, it was uh, as usual, you yeah. know, I mean, week by week, you know, there was definitely, you know, I mean, content being put out that was, uh, you know, great for discussion, great for debate and, you know, great for opinion. So I'm I'm definitely, you know, looking forward to uh, to to recapping on, you know, some of that stuff as well as, you know, seeing what's to come because, you know, a lot of our, our favorite, uh, you know, folks that we we talked about previously, you know, on the pod have, uh, have definitely been active, yeah, and the the last couple of weeks and definitely, uh, you know, giving us, uh, 
more insight into uh, in-depth conversations, you know, that, that you and I can have and, you know, share with the people. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And like you said, like we said, you even notice probably the intro is a little different. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see a little different graphics. You're gonna see a little bit of different conversation, a little different vibe, different. You know, you're just gonna see a little bit of a little bit of difference in the show. So again, give us an opinion on that. Tell us how you feel about it. You know, tell us your thoughts. Tell us some of your favorite episodes from uh, 2022. You know, and you know, we 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 love to have that. But uh, before we get out of here, man, anything else? Uh... Any anything else you want to get off your chest? Anything else you know you want to say? Man, I'm just excited about the new year. You know, what I'm saying you're about to see a little bit of thing because, like I said, you know, that was that was our that was our first season. You know, what I'm saying to make it to the second season, and what you're going to see every year, right? It's you know, I mean, we folks too. We love to provide the folks with some good. You know, laughs, you know what I'm saying? Some thought provocative thoughts and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see it. I'm just excited about it. You're gonna see a lot of a lot of changes and you're gonna see some some cool shit happening. So I'm just excited. I'm I'm filled with joy. I'm, I'm ready to tackle in this next year. And you know, one thing I can't even, you know, can't even forget and I'll be remiss if I did say it, you know. I'm just blessed to see another year, man, another opportunity. You know, I know we talk every week about another week, but I'm just, I'm just, I feel blessed and in, in, in favor just to have an opportunity to, to take this show to the next level and just uh, elevate, man. That's where I'm at, you know? Oh, no, no, I, I like it. I like it. You know, well, you know, I really don't, you know, don't have uh, too much, you know, got a, got a full weekend, you know, coming up with, uh, you know, activities and, and events, but I did want to ask you, you know, I wanted to do a, a weather check-in, you know, to see how the weather is in the DMV, because it looks like in the next couple of weeks, you know, I'm uh, I'm gonna be in the city, you know, for about a week or so. And um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to pack. I'm trying to see, do I need to, uh, you know, pack the, the big coat, or, you know, can I move around with, a, you know, something, you know, a little lighter, you know, what's the weather like in the DMV right now? Is it still, Freezing, or have you all uh, sh- shook winter and it, has it warmed up any? Uh, it's just like it's like every year, dog. You gotta you got you better dress four seasons in one day. You know, what I'm saying you better you better have those cargo pants where you can zip the bottom of the half pants leg off. You know, what I'm saying, <laughs> or, or have that jacket where you can take the lining out because you just never know what you're gonna get. I mean, I think you can get. I mean, what a couple of weeks ago over the holiday. I mean, we had a flash freeze, right? And and that shit wasn't yeah. happening. And then the next week, literally the following week, or within that same week, it became, it was sixty degrees outside. You know, what I'm saying? so I would just say make sure you have the right suitcase, right luggage. You know, what I'm saying? make sure you're ready, because you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know what you're gonna get when you wake up and how it's gonna be at night. You know, so <laughs> that's really yeah. They said we supposedly hit the coldest part of the the year already, or not. It wasn't even in this year, right? It's I think you know what I'm saying in in 2023, it's been yeah. You know, on on average, you're right around like I don't know 40s, 50s. You know, yeah, some 60 degree weather coming up in the nighttime. Dropped down to 32. The other day I walked out, I had frost and ice on my window. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. Mm. You know what you gonna get? You just like we always say, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready, you know. Uh, exactly, man. I will tell you one thing: I'm, I'm not looking forward to, uh, to to the weather, you know, but I am looking forward to, you know, getting back to the the, the city and you know, chopping up with some folks and you yeah. know, even uh, you know, even us, you know, hopping, you know, in the, in the studio, you know, doing something, you know, live somewhere. So definitely, you know, looking forward to that. You know, I'll, I'll keep you posted on. Uh, you know, the travel plans, you know, in case yeah. anything changes, but it does look like tall man will be in the city, you know, for the Super Bowl, you know, so I'm, I'm definitely looking, you know, to uh, check out a Super Bowl party, you know, get, get some wings and, you know, do it like how we uh, we usually do it. You know, last year watching the Super Bowl at 3.30 in the morning off an of iPad screen, you know, that kind of put things in perspective for me that, you know, I'm not sure if I'm a, about that iPad 3 a.m. Super Bowl life, you know, so I'm, get it. I'm excited about that one. Well, I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you the heads up now. You know, 
you see them boys perform this, you know, week is getting remiss if I didn't bring this up. Them boys about to, you know, you you don't know what's about to happen. It's about to be a great week, you know. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna leave that there, and you know, if uh, if the boys make it, you know, you will know about it, you know, and the plans that come up. But I will say, you know, also during that week, I think um, Cisha to you was even talking about um, potentially having a meetup. Also, you know, what I'm saying so. You know, potentially have some just good time about that or whatsoever. So more to come on that. You know, my good folks at Smiles and Good Times. I know they got a lot of good. You know, they do a, an annual holiday. You know, what I'm saying infused brunch, but uh, they're looking at a little couple other things, man. They're looking at some Cinco de Mayo events. They're looking at some summertime events. So you know, definitely be on the lookout. We got something good coming up. You know, hit us up. You know, we'll definitely promote it. You know, let you know what you know. Let let the fans and let the folks know what time it is, and, and tell them to definitely check you out. So, we love to support businesses. We love, you know, what I'm saying, to keeping that yeah. dollar in the community. You know, what I'm saying, and 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 we're just looking forward to that. So, I think I want to promote this year, man. And like I said, I'll be, you know, obviously we just uh, inducted the first, you know, African American, you know mayor of Mer- a governor of Merle, excuse me. Yeah, and, yeah, so, I saw that. So that's big, big, big. So it's just some good shit going on, man. It's, uh, you know, hopefully, like they say, man, change, 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 grow, grow, grow. So good shit. Exactly. Going on. Like I said, man, just be on the lookout for events, announcements, whatever that may be, you know, promote some good shit going on in the community. So good times. Again, you know, appreciate y'all for rocking with us. Don't forget that you can follow Sheesh for You on IG. You can follow us on Twitter at In the Bold Pod. You know, we uh, love to get the feedback and responses and, you know, keep the conversation going, you know, so we're, we're definitely looking forward to that. Last but not least, you may not have heard it in a while, but don't forget to keep those hookahs clean after every use. Just go ahead, rinse it out, have things all cleaned up so when you're ready to fire it up the next time, Half the work is already done. All right. So, as, so next week, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us. And as always, click, like, and subscribe. <laughs>